Hi guys, I thought it'd be funny to do a little video today um, with the missus. This is Yasmin. Hi. Um, sorry about her slippers, um, but I caught her off guard and I thought it'd be funny to do a little questions and answer kind of thing about the koi pond, obviously. So, every pond keeper knows who's male or maybe even female that when you build a koi pond, it doesn't come probably as cheap as most people expect. Um, but the one thing you do is you never tell your partner how much things cost. She you hasn't really got a clue how much anything is in here. And I'm not gonna really give anything away, but it's just funny to listen and see how much she thinks things cost. But if there's one thing my missus ain't, it's stupid, isn't it? No, I'll guess. But she is clever, right? So, here we go. Right, random things to see how much she thinks, how much things are. I know how much that is because we nearly divorced over it. <laughs> right, the Momotaro Baki shower. How much did I pay for that? Three grand. Well, that's not too bad. If she thought it was three grand, oh, then it was actually 400 quid. <laughs> And quids in. Oh, right, okay, 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 that's fine. <laughs> well, the actual shower was 400 quid, but then the media that goes inside it is probably about a grand. So, okay, okay, that's fine. so that, was, that was halfway there. You're 50% right, probably about, about 1,500 quid, okay, with a custom lid. So that's one. So, wrong on that one. Right, okay, what else can we think about? Right, see that big koi by there? Yep. That white, black, and yellow what? Yeah. White, black, and yellow. White, black, and red one. Mm -hmm. How much do you think that koi was when I bought it? 800? Did you buy it in Kent? Yeah, it was actually, it was meant to be 895 pounds, but I did get it for 600 quid, I think. Ah, so actually, you're pretty this good. Is good. This is good. I know. Right, so that was very good. Okay, so how much was that one there? Right. Uh, Which koi farm was that brought up in? Where's that, where, what koi farm is that from? That's not the one you just got, that was from... Wait, so you got them in Kent and then you got one... Where did I get them from? What, what dealership did I get most of my fish from? Koi Wolf Farm. She's good. Yeah, go on. Yeah, so that one you got in Koi Wolf Farm, did you? The big one I got from Koi Water Barn, yeah, yeah, but it wasn't born in Koi Water Barn or, or, or brought up. Which 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 farm in Japan was it from? <laughs> the only one that I got right right now is Nishnagoi. Nishnagoi, well, Nishnagoi means these, swim and jewels, but yeah. Okay, so that one is from the Sakai Koi Farm. Now that must oh, ring a bell. Oh no, yeah, ah. Saki Sakai. Yeah, Saki Sakai, very, very cunning, Smith Jones. Uh, you know, it's the Japanese yeah, yeah. name's very, yeah, okay. Right, so, okay, so what else can we go for? Right, this auto feeder by here, Yasmin. Yeah. Right, it's a profi auto feeder, okay. Lovely stainless steel bracket, feeds up to 10 times a day, okay. <laughs> it's the choice of champions. What else can I say? It is the choice of champions. 150. 150, way off there. What, less? No, you're halfway there. It was three hundred pounds, guys. For that. For that. And I haven't even Didn't used you just it give yet. Did one away? I gave one away to the people's pond. He <laughs> deserved it because he gave money to charity. What charity okay. did he give the money to? The one for people with PTSD. Like, was it Help for Heroes or no, a paratrooper what, one? Paratrooper, yeah, paratrooper one. one. Well done. See, she does listen to me. I do. I do. Um, right. Next thing. Next thing. Next thing. How much was the big bonsai tree? You loved that one. You were there. One hundred and fifty. 150 quid for a bonsai tree. Mate, she's, you've got I to control my spend. It was, yeah, That's it was. Disgusting. It's disgusting. I let you do that. But it was lovely, yeah, it is lovely. How much was the palm tree out the front? 250, we've got it shipped. Yeah. Is that the most expensive one? No. So, the, the, yeah, that one's from the Isakoi farm. Got your finger. Uh, that was from the Sakai Koi farm, and then the Momotaro. The three of them are from the Momotaro place, so the same brand as the Baki shower, that's the koi farm they come from. Okay. Right, here's one for you. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Yasmin. I couldn't get this in the house, could I? How much was this koi food? Please don't say more than 60 quid. Don't. I think they're about 50 quid. Okay, okay. Okay? That's but that's a joke. just that. <laughs> it's Mr. Sakai's. Mr. Sakai's premium koi food, you fool. 50 quid for fish food. It's made of all fish meal. It's Gosh, not better. like it's not like normal fish food, which is made of beef products and chicken and animal proteins. It's made is of it? all shellfish proteins and fish proteins. This video is sponsored by Mr. Sakai. So if you want to send me another one of those, Mr. Sakai, <laughs> I love one. And I've even got one of your fish. There we are. So see the big white and red one, the kahaki you like. Mm -hmm. See that guy in the front there? Mm -hmm. He's touched in. Because he wow. comes from his koi farm. That's really cool. Ah, she's impressed I now. I actually didn't know that. I know you didn't. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Right, Yasmin. So, how much oh. do you think my koi pond cost me? Roughly. Right, we're including talking, that. We're and talking all the, the filtration and stuff. system. We're talking the UV light. We're talking uh, the, the heat. The air source heat pump and all the pumps and ev everything, all the fiberglass in, fish everything. Included. Not the fish, leave the fish out of this. I know it the glass. Eight grand? I don't know, but I'll do a little bit of a calculation and I'll put it up on the screen now. Right, so the missus is quite clever and I she do does listen. listen to me quite a lot. So, we're going now for volume of water. How, do you want to work in litres or gallons? Litres. litres. You know what a litre is, don't yeah. you? Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, no, you no, know no. what a litre is. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know that you're looking at this aqua resolve. <laughs> no, look, it says treat 60,000 litres. Well, you can guess wherever you want to guess. I think there's 64,000 litres in there. That would be a big pond, wouldn't it, guys? Oh. Now, think about it. Look at this. It's two meters exactly by three meters exactly by four and a half meters uh, by four and a half feet deep. So how many liters of water would be in there? Now we're not even going on about the you know the nexus I've got in there the big filtration system in there that holds uh, I think one thousand one hundred liters I think of water. So. That holds 100 litres of water. What do you reckon this would hold? I think it holds 101 litres of water. I, I can't remember. Two and a half, 2,000? Two, uh, one, 1,500? Totally off. There's 7,500 litres of water in that pond. I thought I said 64,000. By the way, I'm not dull. It, I was literally going off his blanket we'd resolve. So she's quite clever. <laughs> She's using outside sources to manipulate her answers. Right then, Yasmin, what else can we talk about this? What is that thing called right in the bottom of the drain? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the bane of our lives. Right, that's... The but what, scratcher. What would you actually call that? I know it's a drain, but what's it actually called? I don't know. Uh, it's a spin drift the bottom drain, love. You need to start That's listening to say. me a little That's bit more, otherwise I, I am considering leaving you. <laughs> Excellent. So, we know now that when they pee and they poo and they breathe and they sweat and they probably don't sweat, but when they're doing something, they discrete ammonia. It goes through the backy shower and through the nexus and there's little microbes that lives on those little bits of pasta that's bubbling away, yeah? yeah? And there's two different forms of microbes that lives on there. One that feeds on uh, ammonia, ammonia mm -hmm. and they turn that into a different one called nitrite, mm -hmm. or nitrate, nitrite. Yeah. And then there's another one that eats the nitrite and turns it into nitrates. Wow. Nitrates isn't quite as toxic to fish mm -hmm. as the other two. Okay. Right. But it is slightly toxic. So how do we combat that? Putting the fish in the purple bar? Uh, no, that's when they're sick. That's called uh, potassium permanganate. That's been my life for the last yeah, year. Yeah, well, I've spent quite a lot of money on potassium. <laughs> yeah. How much money do you think I've spent so on potassium permanganate? That I don't want to know. Probably a couple of quid. Yeah. Um, no, but what we do is we put fresh water in the pond every week 
to slightly change and, and renew the water to refresh it. I genuinely okay? didn't know you did that. Will we do that? Mm -hmm. So how much water do you think I have to put in this pond every week to, to keep it stable and nice. What, how many litres or like what percentage? How many li how many, what percentage? So there's 7,500 litres in there, but we're talking about a percentage. So this is 100% of the water yeah. up to here. So right? maybe like 20%? Now then, now we're getting somewhere. Between 20 and 30% is lovely. <laughs> Look at the fried. The Very fried. clever, right? But, right, because we're not on the water meter, yeah. thank God, <laughs> I do put more or less than 30% in, yeah. okay? Now what's in tap water, which is not very good for fish? Salt. Not salt. Actually salt can be very sodium. good for them. Not sodium. Give me a letter. Chlorine. That's not a letter. But it starts with a C. Chlorine. Chlorine. No, tap and chloramides. Tap water is right, not very not really good. Meant to drink it. So what happened? Okay. So in tap water, there is chlorine, chlorine, chloramides. Chloramides. Yeah. Okay. And how do we get rid of those? What did I buy a few months ago, and I upgraded it, and it's massive and blue, almost the same size as is what my Should genitalia. <laughs> um, massive and blue. It's the called pump. a big blue. Pump. It's called a big blue. Pump. No, it's a big container. And what that's got in it is carbon. Um, <laughs> ammonia. Carbon, right? Yeah. No, this water does not pass through the big blue. So we go from the tap water, which has got it's chlorine and chloroformite. Chloroma, yeah, yeah, close. Right? And it passes through the active carbon, which takes all of that out of the water. And then that water drops into my nexus, which then Cleans the water. Mixes with the old water. Are you going to get a new fish or something? I'm certainly not going to Kent to get a fish. No, but one did I? I'm certainly not getting an Israeli koi in this to give me a load of bacteria <laughs> and a load ducks. of, I don't know, fish fleas, whatever. Yeah, but you're whatever. bored. You need some excitement. I don't, I'm not bored at all. I'm not bored at all. I'm never bored. Right? <laughs> right, okay, so we've covered water parameters, we've covered volumes, we've covered a couple of prices, we've covered. Do you know the gender of the fish? Well, okay, so here we are. This is the thinking lady. So I actually don't know the gender of the fish. Apparently, to tell the gender of these fish is quite difficult at the smaller sizes. Now, I've been looked into it, and I do believe that that shower there, body shape-wise, tells me that's a female because it's got a massive belly. It's got a big girth on it, right? And there's a few other ways that you can tell gender. When you flip them upside down, their gender reveal, whatever it's called, their labia, I don't know. It does look like one. They don't have one. If they've got an opening, right? Whose labia does the coin's vagina look like? Cindy Crawford. <laughs> right? And one of them, the female, I think the male has got a bit more of a puffy opening and the women has got a little bit more of a harder box. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You said that to me on our first date. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> and the males also on their pectoral fins. Where's their pectoral fins? Which ones are their pectoral fins? Would you say, in your extensive? The, uh, the... Yeah. Well done. Like yeah. Nemo's got a small yeah. one. Yeah. Well done. So apparently the males mm -hmm. have got like a rougher feeling on their pectoral fins. It m might be something to do so with spawning. So she's a she. I believe she's a she. Now, the females always grow bigger. Um, she scares me. Well, she's, she's quite pushy, to be honest. She's, uh, I mean, yeah. She doesn't give up. She's Hold hardcore. On. She's hardcore. Like, when the food goes in, she's like, bang, bang, Yeah, she loves it. Yeah, yeah, she's good. She's good. She's gorgeous, though. Oh, look at her. Hey, come here, Dorothy. Wait, it hurts. Ah, ah, does ah, it hurt? I'm scared of her, mate. You've got teeth now. Right in the back, they've got teeth like piranha, but down there. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Um, Are you lying? I'm lying. Okay, yeah. good. Because Wolf sticks his hands. I'm oh, lying. Probably... Right. What else? What else do we need to know with this question? We've got parameters. We've got fish. We've done gender. Uh, we've done prices. We've done filtration. Got names. 
No. I've not given these any names, no. You can't, he doesn't get attached to them anymore. Because I don't, I did have a couple. One was called Wasabi, one yeah. was called... Wasabi Sushi. Sushi. They've all gone, but luckily they've gone to a better place. Um, <laughs> and uh, they were, unfortunately, Israeli koi anyway, so... You really I, got in for them, haven't you? Yeah, well, you know, this is a learning curve, and for everyone that's new in this hobby, you know... Uh, if you, you even had someone buy you a koi at one point. Yeah, people buying you koi and they just turn up with a koi and you're like, oh, thanks. Yeah. That's the last thing yeah. you want is someone to buy you a koi. If you spent this much money yeah. on a koi pond. Yeah, so if, if, again, so th listen, if anyone's watching this, right, and they have a friend that spent a lot of money on a koi pond, don't buy him a koi. Don't go to pets at home. Mm -hmm. Don't go to no offence, Maidenhead Aquatics, or anywhere like that. Certainly don't go to the fair and bring them a goldfish or a koi. Mm -hmm. Because someone who's got a koi pond like this, there's only so much room that you can actually put your koi in, all right? You don't want to overstock your pond. And people like me, I quite like the bloodline and I like to have quality over quantity. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's 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 why I'm married to her because she's quality, and I don't play around because I'm not interested in quantity. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, right, I don't know what else to say now, guys. But like, I hope you enjoyed that. That's a little bit of an insight to a very switched-on missus, yeah. and she ain't no fool. Trust me. Um, nothing gets past me. Nothing gets past her <laughs> at all. She's just had to try to work out how to get into my mobile banking app yeah, that again. That was today. What did we have to do yesterday? Mobile banking. I had to put his new phone together yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it is what it is, <laughs> right? I can build a pond, and I can build a Harley Davidson, and I can even build a boat. But I can't do anything technical like oh, that. Oh, we should have gone out on the boat. We should have gone out on the boat, but it's going to be a bit rough out there today, girl. Oh. And uh, last time I went over, out on it, I went overboard. We don't talk about that. Were you, we? were you a bit upset about that, weren't you? You nearly lost the love of your life. Yeah. I, I'm not lying to you. Mike was so close to death. On that Seven party. years ago, <laughs> she hit the love jackpot. Yeah, and then he left me so madly. <laughs> no, I did meet the love of my life. And then he nearly died on a boat that he promised me would save. I've nearly died many times, so don't worry about that.